Let's pray here together. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to see your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I live. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, come on. All right, come on, Caleb. To show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Okay, let's pray. God, we thank you so much. You are worthy of all of our praises and worship because you are the God, uh, our Father, God, the Creator, Lord. God, we thank you so much for giving us uh, this day of worship. Uh, may you be able to uh, heal the hearts uh, that are scarred, heal the hearts uh, that uh, the minds that are filled uh, with uh, the things of this world, uh, with the worldly things, uh, may you be able to mend and heal uh, our hearts and minds at this time so that uh, we be able to see and experience only Jesus, Lord. Break down the forces of darkness at this time. Allow Satan to not grab a foothold um, of this time of worship. Uh, may we be able to utilize the name of Jesus uh, throughout this entire day. Uh, may we be able to enjoy Emmanuel. Uh, enjoy that time with uh, with being with you, Lord. Uh, bless the remnants. Uh, bless the teachers. Bless all the pastors of Holy Nation. Uh, may today's worship uh, be uh, be one that uh, is most pleasing in your eyes. We thank you so much. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Hello, David. How are you, David? Good morning, David. All right, everyone, stand up, bless one another. No, you don't want to bless each other? Yes, Panzak, you are blessed. 
Everyone stand up and bless one another. You guys are doing a very poor job of blessing one another. I'll give you one more chance, okay? Look at each other and bless each other. You're cold? That's too bad. All right, here we go. Let's pray together. Shout for joy and sing your praises. Shout for joy and sing your praises to the King. Lift your voice high, let your hallelujahs ring. Come before His throne to worship and honor. Head to joyfully now, the presence of the Lord. Shout for, shout for joy and sing your praises to the King. Lift your voice high, let your hallelujahs ring. Come before His throne to worship and honor. And to joyfully know the presence of the Lord. You're my creator. You're my deliverer. You're my redeemer. You are Lord. You are my healer. You're my provider. You are my shepherd and my guide. Jesus, Lord and King. I worship you. Shout for joy and sing your praises to the King. Lift your voice high, let your hallelujahs ring. Come before His throne to worship and honor. And to joyfully now, presence of the Lord. You're my creator, you're my deliverer, you're my redeemer, you are Lord. You're my provider, you are my shepherd and my guide, Jesus, Lord and King, I worship you. Jesus, Lord and King, I worship Jesus, Lord. Jesus, Lord and King, I worship you. And I will praise you with all of my strength. I will praise you with all of my heart. And all of my, and all of my strength, all of my hope is in you, my life. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you, it's in you, my life is in you, Lord, my strength. Is in you, Lord, my hope. Is in you, Lord, in you. One more time, my life. Is in you, Lord, my strength. Is in you, Lord, my hope. Is in you, Lord, in you. It's in you. I will praise you with all of my heart. I will praise you with all of my strength, with all of my life, and all of my strength, all of my hope is in you. My life is in Addison, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope. It's in you, Lord, in you, it's in you, my life. It's in you, Lord, my strength. It's in you, Lord, my hope. It's in you, Lord, in you, it's 
say, my life, my life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope. You, Lord, in you, it's in you, in you, it's in you, in you, it's in you, it's in you. Amen. Addison has won her way to the stage. Come on, Addison. You sat down. Oh, we're, we're going to be fair, Addison. You're, and you're cold, so let's dance together. You can bring a partner. All right. Caleb, help me out. Caleb, help me out. Since you're going on vacation, you can help me out before you go on vacation. Come on. No, Emma, just you. I just want you, Caleb. Come on, Caleb. Sojin, hurry. I need your help. Thank you, bud. All right. Give me a high five. All right. All right, let's go. Everyone stand up. Addison, I'm going to remember that forever and ever and ever and ever. Not you. Is your name Addison? All right, here we go. Uh, making melodies. You ready, Caleb? Thank you, bud. All right, here we go. Making melody, making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. To the king of kings. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. One, a two, a one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Oh, louder! Thumbs up. Elbows out. Feet apart. One, two, one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies. In my heart, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs up, elbows out, feet apart, knees bent, butt out. Oh, wonderful. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the King of Kings. Thumbs up. Please tell me how you guys are pregnant right now. What is this? All right, put some more, put more of your back into it. All right, you guys ready? Thumbs up. Oh, a little bit more energetic. Thumbs up. Thank you. Elbows out. Feet apart. Knees bent. Butt out. Head bent. Good to see you, Michael. One, two. Oh, one, two. Here we go. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. To the King of Kings. Thumbs up. Oh. Come on, louder. Thumbs up. Much better. Elbows out. Feet apart. Knees bent. Butt out. Head bent. Turn around. Come on, Daniel. Spin. There you go. All right, last one. Tongue out. All right, here we go. A one, a two, a one, two. Here we go. Your turn. Keep spinning. I'm going to make you keep going. 
One more time, keep going. Thank you, Caleb. Great job, Caleb. No. 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 P Daniel will scare everyone away. All right. S keep standing. Remain standing. I never said you guys can sit. All right. Okay. Let's balance this out a little bit, okay? Are, y are you three confident that you guys can win? Yeah? Emma, are you confident? All right, um, hey, Caleb, why don't you go on this side for a second? No, Addison, you go help out that side for a little bit. Oh, what if we do boys and girls? Okay, all right, girls on this side. For a second, just for a second. Girls on that side. All right, you guys ready? All right. We are the chosen generation. We'll go girls first and then the boys second, okay? You guys ready? Okay. We yell out, we yell out to Satan. Give up. All right, you guys ready? All oh, the boys are getting ready. All right, here we go. We are the chosen generation. We are the chosen generation. We shall see the glory of the Lord. We are the offer dying nation. We're going to shout God's message till everyone has turned. All right, girls first. Say to the north. Say to the south. Oh, have your weapons. We got the sword in our hand. Oh, I like that, boy. Say to the east. Say to the west. We're taking grounds for the kingdom. Claiming what? I think Paul can beat everyone by himself. We are the, we are the chosen generation. We shall see the glory of the Lord. We are the offer dying nation. We're going to shout God's message till everyone has turned. All right, one more time, girls. Say to the north. Say to the south. We better drop your weapons. We got the sword in. Paul, it was so much louder with you together. Here we go. Say to the east. Say to the west. We're taking grounds for the kingdom, claiming what belongs to the Lord. Say to the north. Say to the north. Say to the south. You better drop your weapons. We got the sword in our hands. Say to the east. Say to the West, we're taking grounds for the kingdom, claiming what belongs to the Lord. We're taking, we're taking grounds for the kingdom, claiming what belongs to the Lord. We are taking, we're taking grounds for the kingdom, claiming what belongs to the Lord. All right, stay there, all right? This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Celebrate. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. All right, this 
this is the day. Girls first. Boys. Boys. All together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Here we go. This is the day that the Lord and this is girls first. Oh, their voices are much more beautiful. All right, all together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord. One more time. Let's go boys first. Girls. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has rejoice and rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Keep going. One last one together. Okay, you guys can go back to your seats. Okay? Thank you. But you guys must remain standing. Must remain standing. We got one more. All right, summit time. All right, God has called, God has called you and me. To be in this covenant journey, he will save all the nations. That's our final destination for the world to be. There is only one true answer. It's the kingdom of God. Jesus is the Christ, his power alone. So no matter what happens to you, do not let it shake or affect you. You just focus on God who's with you and have. You have God's absolute covenant. You're on this journey. We're all together, we have oneness, we enjoy Emmanuel. God has called, God has called you and me to be in this covenant journey. We'll save all the nations, that's our final destination. For the world to be here, there is only one true answer. It's the kingdom of God, Jesus is the Christ. Oh, beautiful. Matter what happens to you, do not let it shake or affect you. You just focus on God who's with you and have. You have God's absolute covenant. You're on this journey. We're on our way to stand before kings as the witnesses of summit time. Amen. Now you guys may be seated. All right, let's praise one last one together. Let's bless each other, okay?
The Lord bless you and keep you and be gracious to you. Praise it together. The Lord bless. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Lord bless Lord bless you and keep you. One last time, the Lord bless you. Lord bless you. Keep you, make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you, and give you peace. Amen. Amen. At this time, our remnant... Michael, Lazar will come up and pray for us. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Please bless teachers and answer with the devil portion of the Holy Spirit, and please break down the forces of darkness at this time. Please let us have a good rest of the day and focus on you. Let us listen to Teacher Jensen's message and hold on to Jesus' life, Jesus' power, and Jesus' healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michael, for praying for us. All right, Remnant, let's all take out our prayer books, our Bibles, everything that you guys need for today's worship. Okay, let's pray together here at the Apostles' Creed. All right, let's pray together, guys. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father, where he'll come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Victory and worship be to one. I open my heart to receive the word that I might devote myself to the pastor's teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. I grant to five pals to the pastors. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, 3 to 1. Being obedient to the point of death for God's word and following the heart of Jesus Christ who died on the cross, may you allow the answers and blessings of a thousand percent obedience of the word received from today's worship. I confess that Jesus Christ is my master. May you receive all the glory. Lord God, 3 to 1. I love you, Lord, my strength, the Lord, my bond token, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my bond token, whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Or for E&M, 3 to 1. May you give me the word to boldly open my mouth and proclaim the rightful words, the mystery of the gospel, in the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Um, exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Hold it. Even now the trying God is at work. Always and forever. Even 
Even now, God is working by His Spirit and the Word. Father, even now the Christ is getting rid of three curses. His ass is hell. Satan has the PPK. Father, the priest came and accomplished his salvation. Son, and even now unseen through your eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Deep enjoy this. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Hold it. What is arising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth and to church and to school and wherever you are. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying invisible to your eyes, God mobilizes angels for his errands. You know what I'm saying? Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Don't worry, I turned it off. I turned off the AC. Because I was cold too. Where were we at? Let's start over. Inhale. Hold. You have an amazing authority. You begin to break down the background of hell. Bind Satan. And break down forces of darkness. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it, then 100 great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual, mental power, physical power, financial offering power, man, woman, baby power, social communication power. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Hold it. There is something more important than all of these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit. Do well in your studies. Where was that new guy? Exhale. Remember the new guys from last week? I forgot his name. It's not Scott. I think it was like Mina. Mina? No, that's Bobe. Bobe from the training. Anyways, inhale. Hold it. Heaven, this is our background. By the mystery of the trying God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth. Then we'll go to heaven. Just wait. For God's kingdom, it'll surely come. Can you stop interrupting? Breathing time. You could share during form time, right? Uh, now I lost my place. We gotta start over. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> heaven. This is our background by the mystery of the trying God. Enjoy God's kingdom here on earth and church. Then we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom will come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. As Joseph waited, God's kingdom came. He went as a slave, even to prison, still it away. Exhale. <laughs> I guess yawning is exhaling. Banshigi. Inhale. <laughs> Hold it. Heal. We don't die and go to heal, but people are living a healish life on earth, having the background of heal and go to heal when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torment their life, and at the end, drags people to heal. Exhale. <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. Inhale. Uh, <laughs> hold it. Angels. With the background of heaven, angels are ministering God's work. When you, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes angels. Exhale. Inhale. <laughs> Hold it. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. Are you spiritually healthy? Yeah. This is where everything begins to be solved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rides the flow of the covenant is filled with the Holy Spirit always. Help me to listen to the voice of God, not the words of people, or listen to worldly music too much, or watch worldly TV too much, because it messes with your spiritual state. Do you understand? Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Church, it's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path which you get there. It's the new guy. Exhale. I, for I forgot your name. Mino? Is it Mino? I forgot. Is it Mino? Oh, me yeah, I got it. Okay. Inhale. 
Hold it. People that are must meet. Leaders with the gospel. Successful people with the gospel. Fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. And relax. Let's hold on to our year-long message, which was, um, I forgot. Oh, yeah, Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing. What's true healing? Evangelism and missions, which is making disciples of all nations, spiritual healing, saving the future generations, receive power through the Holy Spirit to be a witness at the very ends of the earth. In other words, 227 Healing Summit. What happens when the Holy Spirit works? Doors of evangelism open, and we find the hidden prepared disciples just like Lydia. God's word is fulfilled and change takes place. So all we have to do is hold on to covenant of one, which is Christ, three, God's kingdom, eight, which is the Holy Spirit, and pray and enjoy God's blessings, grace, and peace. C stands for what? Covenant, which is God's promise and his sovereignty. Everything's in his, in his control. We need to see it ahead of time. And V stands for what? Vision, which is all about God's plan. And what is God's plan? World evangelization. We need to make it mine ahead of time. D stands for what? Dream, our covenant dream, right? And we enjoy it ahead of time. I stands for what? Image. Whose image are we created in? God's image, which means we enjoy true happiness of God being with us on our covenant journey. And we conquer win ahead of time. Peace stands for <laughs> Peace stands for what? Practice. We put into practice God's goal because he already finished everything on the cross. And then we need to carry out our duties as spiritual watchmen, doctors, and ambassadors. Oh, today's message. What Daniel had in advance. So cheesy. I've never seen such a more cheesy remnant in my whole life. Speaking of cheese, some remnant just messaged early this morning and said, I like cheese. And distracted and woke up everybody. Yeah, this, this remnant on our hangouts wrote, I like cheese. Yeah, it was Paul. Silly Paul. Is everybody done? You guys wrote this down? Did you write this down? Do you have a notebook? And a pen? Uh, does somebody have a pen, Mino Corbaro? Thank you. Don't make fun of people's names. What if I called you Byung, sickness? A sickness. But then again, that sounds kind of cool. Hey, you're sick. That's sick, bro. All right, I'm going to move on. Today's Bible verse comes from Danielle 6, verse 10. And guess what? The Word of God is living and active. Isn't that amazing? One remnant, one remnant messaged to your ginster and one day, and then, and then she's like, uh, I experienced God's Word being living and active. And I'm like, yeah, duh. All right, did everybody find it? Yeah. Okay, if you did, let's read it together, but in a beautiful, quiet voice. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Now, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to a God just as he had done before. What kind of time is this? Hammer time? Summit time. And then who, who joined the training yesterday and Friday? Yeah. So Pastor G 
She said to do scheduled prayer how many times a day? So it was like when we wake up, when we eat. Wait, how many times do you eat every single day? Some people eat like seven times a day. Oh. Two, oh, Sam eats like 14 times a day. And then before we go to sleep, right? Uh, she just loves Jesus, part of Jesus healing. Today's lesson objective is to see, have, and enjoy. Wait, to see, have, enjoy. Oh, yeah, and put into practice or put into action God's desire. Wow, that's a lot to remember, huh? To see. So, Sadie, if you don't, sharing, if you don't know a prayer topic, this could be a prayer topic. So, so to remember it, you got to write it down. Why are you stealing the RCA hotel key card? <laughs> Did you write this down, Sharon? Oh. All right, let's move on. Ah, uh, let's go, Caleb. Sit down, police. <laughs> to see, to have, to enjoy, and put into practice God's desire. Enjoy at the jump rope. I don't know. Can I move on? Let's go. It's not setting, it's Shireen. It's Shireen and your sickness. Why do you have why do you have a hotel key card? He just laughs. You, you didn't turn when you go to RCA, you gotta turn the keys back in. Ah, he stole it. He, You're gonna steal it. You're gonna sneak into the West End Hotel when you run away from home. Well, now at least we know where you're gonna be. All right, I'm moving on. Uh, let's review what we learned last week. So last week we talked about Elisha, and he had something in advance, and that was called spiritual strength, right? Because we're, we have spirits inside, and he had spiritual strength. So let's review. So what Elisha had in advance. I would write spiritual strength. That's the important part, spiritual strength. So Elisha was called by Elijah, or actually God called Elijah to go call Elisha, and he said, sup, and he said, sup. And then he followed him. He said, let's go, and he said, yeah. And then all his stuff, he burned it. And then he followed Elijah. He said, wait up. Okay, let's go. And wherever he went, followed Elijah. And then finally, Elijah got sick of it and said, what do you want? And he prayed, or he asked for triple portion, or double portion, double portion of the Holy Spirit. And Elijah said, you want double my wisdom? You want double my strength? You want double my spirit? Well, if you see me being taken up to heaven, then it's yours. And, it, and he actually saw it. He saw an angel and horses and chariot of fire come down and, and a whirlwind of fire, and then bring him up. And then uh, he left behind the cloak, and then he received double portion. Dun, 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 dun. And then uh, there was this one time where, no, Coco Melon. There was this one time where the Aramean army, the, the, the enemy, surrounded, his, surrounded the town because they wanted to capture Elisha because he knew the king's evil battle plans. And then Elisha's servant saw the army outside the city and, and warned the master, 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 they're here to capture you. And Elisha said, Chillax, bro. Those who are with us are more than they that they have. And then Elisha said, Open up my, the servant's spiritual eyes. And then surrounding the hills and the enemies were horses and angels and chariots of fire, which are the same angels that protect us, the remnants. Oh. In other words, he had spiritual strength. 
spiritual strength to focus during prayer, spiritual strength to focus during worship, spiritual strength to focus during his studies, spiritual strength to focus in whatever he was doing. Why? Because he had the mystery of summit time, summit attitude, and summit vessel. And enjoyed God being with him, God being with us, Emmanuel, and oneness. He did the remnant movement, right? Oh, yeah. Today's message. Uh, uh, point number two. So we need a time to enjoy, enjoy what God's given us. We need a summit time to enjoy it. And that's what Daniel had. Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. Had a summit time to enjoy great spiritual blessings. So let's see what he enjoyed. Oh, he enjoyed summit time. And ever since he was little, he, I think he prayed three times a day. He got down on his knees looked outside the window towards Jerusalem, and he prayed three times a day. But we're, we're better than that. We'll do five times a day, unless you eat 14 times a day. So and that would be 16 times a day. Wow. Remnant Hapung, so blessed to eat so much. So we need summit time. Set a time to pray. Well, we don't need to set an exact time, but when we wake up, before we eat, And then before we go to sleep. Uh, and then during this summit time, we have to think and pray about God. What, what do you desire? What do you want, God? Uh, God, tell me what you want. Teach me what you want. Help me to hold on to God's word. And as we read over our Bible, our message notes, and read the Bible and do Bible writing, <gasps> there was this one remnant who was doing summit time yesterday during church. And I'm like, What the? This remnant's a little different. And then there was this other remnant. I'm like, do some time. And then for two hours straight, she was jumping around, moving back and forth. And then I checked her, her notebook, and nothing was there. <laughs> she was distracted. Unlike this other remnant, who was doing her summit time on her own, even without people, anybody to tell her. Yeah, do summit time. And then during summit time, what is it that God desires? God desires, oh, there was this, I think it was last week. There's this one really loud remnant. So loud. And her, her name starts with an L. And it ends with the idiot, Kim. And then I'm like, what do you want? And she's like, you! And I took that as God's voice. Why? Because what is it that God really wants? You. God wants us. Oh, my, I, it was a shock. I was setting up my stuff. Like, you know, in the main sanctuary during second prayer, she popped up to the, she popped up out of nowhere. I said, I'm like, what do you want? You! Yeah, that's what God wants. God wants you. So now that we, f we know that what God wants, God wants us to enjoy God being with us. So now since God's with us, now we could do our best. Whatever, whatever we're doing, do your best. Why? Because we know what God's desire is. We're doing it for God, right? We're not doing it for ourselves. Let's say I want to be a professional table tennis, ping pong. I want to be a professional ping pong player, and then I do my best doing ping pong. But if you're doing it for yourself, then is that what God desires? No. But if it's for evangelism and missions, then yeah, do your best on ping pong. And since you're doing what God desires, Whenever we follow what God desires, then we become, oh, oh, we go all in, right? We go all in. Then eventually, God will bring us to the seat of the summit. <laughs> so, 
Something's weird here. Something's a little off. That looks familiar. That he looks familiar. Anyways, we become the best because God, we're children of God. We have no choice but to be successful because God's with us. So there is this one silly remnant. I'll, just out of nowhere, she comes up to me and she pulls down her mask and there's two dots right here. And she turns her head. I'm Bob. I don't know who that remnant is, but she's very creative and annoying sometimes. The best. Why? Because remnants, we have no choice but to be successful. Why? Because God's with us. If we hold on to God's desire, do your best, you have no choice but to be successful. Who knows? Hapung might be the next Lionel Messi and he'll earn millions and billions of dollars for the church. Never know. Who knows? Chloe might become the next Yuna Kim figure skating. Who knows? Daniel might become the next WWE superstar wrestler because he's so big. You never know. Who knows? Bonshi might become the next movie star like Bruce Lee. Michael might, I don't know. He might become the next gamer. You never know. So we need to, so remnants need to hold on to the accurate covenant. It needs to be what God desires, right? Not what we want, but we need to hold on to what God wants. Kapish, kapush. Hold on to the accurate covenant, which is Christ, 138. And after that, we challenge, we go. Now that we know our direction, now we go set out. Just like this crazy remnant. I don't know why she's driving at that age. But once we have, once we have God's desire and accurate covenant, then we could challenge and go out. Like that thing, that wild, wild remnant. I don't know. It was on the news. <laughs> runaway, runaway four-year-old hijacked, who for some reason has different colored hands. No, she wears gloves. Oh. And remember, we need to hold on to what God wants, not what we want. Not our motives. Motives means what we want. Right? No, no, no. Like Jesus, he followed what God wanted. Jesus, because he was also a man, he had a body, his body felt weak because he had, he had to suffer, right? And he's like, God, do I have to die? But if you want me to, then your will be done. And he obeyed to the point that he died on a cross. We need to obey God too. We have to stake our lives during worship. Instead of goofing around during worship and being distracted during worship and doing things other than worship, skipping church, skipping worship, we have to stake our lives during worship because this is the time where we could hear God's word. Whoa, because we need to hear God's word, right? There was this one remnant who prayed, I think it was today or a couple of hours, a couple of minutes ago, and this remnant's like, uh, help us to listen to Teacher Jinster's message. Is it Teacher Jinster's message? No, you're hearing God's word. Doesn't matter who's up here. It could be little Sarini up here. And she's just saying, uh, goo -goo -gaga, goo -goo -gaga, goo -goo -gaga. you still need to be able to hear God's word. So it doesn't matter who's up here. 
Google Gaga. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to hear God's word. Just like I we just like I heard God's word through that one remnant. I'm like, what do you want? You. Yeah, I took that as God's voice. Yeah, you know what? God wants me. God wants you. And then that that same remnant, I think it was yesterday, she comes behind me. And runs away. What the? A lot of interesting stuff happened yesterday. Now, sometimes what Satan's going to do is try to plant fear into our heart, right? Fear, worry, right? Are you doodling? Are you going to be the next anime creator, director? Is that why you're doodling? Who knows? <laughs> Javi might become the next anime film director, and then it'll be number one box office hit on Netflix. Who knows? We're remnants, right? But during right now, we got to hear God's word. Yeah, Satan's going to try to plant fear, but we just need to go kick him in the face <laughs> by holding on to Christ. That's a brave remnant. Cra crazy, crazy remnant. So wild. And it's to my knowledge that she, she doesn't even have a belt. Not even. All right. Uh, so now there's something that Daniel saw in advance. Not that one. Maybe that one. Yeah, maybe that one. There's something Daniel saw in advance. And what did he see in advance? He saw what's rightful. If you play too much video games, and if you watch too much TV shows, what's going to happen? What's rightful? No. It's bad for your brain, and also it affects your concentration and affects your brain and if you do it long enough it kind of affects your spirit makes us kind of spiritually lazy so don't play too much video games I don't want to see you on your smartphone doing brawl brawl stars especially at church why are you doing that at church all right so what rightful means is like no duh what's obvious if you if you study hard then what's rightful you get good grades right no duh if you eat too much junk food what's rightful you get you get unhealthy and you gain extra blubber and when you go like this your arm shakes right what happens if you exercise a lot then you get muscles, right? You go like this, and then something pops up. What ha Okay, if you don't cut your hair for three years, what happens? What's rightful? You look like Moana. Yeah. What happens when you don't wear sunblock, and you go to the beach? Sunscreen. Then you get sunburn, you turn red all over. Right? So there's things that's rightful. Daniel's so well is rightful. Daniel's like, wait a second. Why are we being taken as captives? Oh, because God's people were doing idol worship and doing what they wanted. So the whole nation was taken as captives or like slaves from Babylon. Is that rightful? Yeah, no duh. They were taken as captives. That, that was rightful. And Daniel knew that. No, duh. They're not doing what, what pleased God. So of course they're going to face problems. And Daniel was taken to Babylon. And you know what? That was a superpower nation back then. So he also saw in advance what was inevitable. Do you know what inevitable means? This is one of the important words. I would write it down. It's like, why am I here? 
Oh, hey. How can I help you? Yeah, or like, why am I here? Like Joseph, God brought him to Egypt, and Joseph's like, you know what, this was inevitable. Why am I here? To do what? What about evangelization? Well, evangelization, right? And Daniel knew that, why am I here in Babylon? Because God wants me to do world evangelization. Exactly. Or evangelism and missions. E and M. Emma. No, evangelism and missions. And then he's like, oh, I get it. God brought us to America because America is the powerful nation in the world right now because he wants us to save America. Wow. Oh. It's not a coincidence. Ain't no quink -a dink No, ain't no quink -a dink And then he also saw what was absolute, what he had to absolutely do. So Daniel and his three friends, who looked strangely familiar, when the king said, here, eat the food that's offered to idols, Daniel and his three friends did what was absolute. In other words, what, what they had to do. So what did Daniel and his three friends do? Did they eat the idol food? No, I ain't eating that. So what did Daniel see? He saw what was God's will or God's desire. We need to search during our summit time. God, what's your will? What do you want? Don't worry about it. So once we find and see God's will, then we make a resolution, right? You know what? This is something I could put into action because it's God's will. So let's think about what's rightful. If we don't brush our teeth for two weeks straight, what's rightful? Your, yeah, your teeth get orange. And you have really, really stinky breath. But you know what? Remnants, if we succeed in worship, prayer, and study with spiritual strength, what's rightful? Are you, are you, if you succeed, if a remnant succeeds in worship and his or her summit time, you will be successful, no doubt, in the world and spiritually. So succeed in worship, prayer, and your studies. This, this could include studying, like schoolwork, but it could also include your talents and your skills. You will be successful if you succeed in worship, prayer, and studies. Now, a remnant who succeeds in worship, does their summit time, does schedule prayer, and then also plays video games with the spare time, is that okay? Yeah, that remnant's totally fine. But then, if there's a remnant who doesn't succeed in worship, who skips summit time and plays video games, should we, should we be worried about that remnant? But then if, you do, if you're a remnant who can do everything you're supposed to do and then play video games, I'm not worried at all. Go for it. Do some more video games. Yeah. As long as you succeed in worship and prayer and do summit time, do everything you're supposed to do. But then there's some remnants. Here, let's, give me your checklist. And I get the checklist. And only Sunday is filled out. What's rightful? They're not gonna be successful. Nope. I'm worried about that remnant. But if you do everything you're supposed to do and say, oh, sorry, I gotta miss worship. I have to go to vacation. Go for it. Because you're already succeeding in worship, doing prayer, everything you're supposed to do. See ya, have fun. But then if there's a remnant who doesn't do su succeed in worship and say, oh, I have to go on family vacation. Bye. Oh, I get kind of worried. 
Oh boy, I hope this doesn't continue. So have fun in Florida. Some remnants going to Florida. Say hi to cro the crocodiles. Be careful. There's crocodiles and alligators in, in Florida. Also, do you love the church? Do you love coming to church? Oh my God. There were some remnants who, they don't want to leave church. Aw, we don't have dinner. And mom's like, ah, let's go. And the remnant still stays. Yeah, love for the church. But then there's some who leave right away. Don't look at each other. No, but I'm saying it's, it happens often. That's not love for church. Well, maybe they do, but then the parents might not. That's, if, you, if you don't have a love for church, that means you don't love. Maybe that's not a love for God. Because the church belongs to God. Now, if you love the church, that means you love God. If you don't love church, you don't love God, to be honest. Next, Danielle had an answer in advance. There's something he had in advance. So he saw in advance what was rightful, and he had the answer. We have Christ. That's the answer. So there's Daniel. He had the answer. Why am I here? Oh, God's plan. God's desire. That, he had the answer. And he served four kings. One of them was Nebuchadnezzar. This is the crazy king who built the, was a 90 foot tall golden statue of himself. He served another king, Belshazzar. There was this another king, Nebuchadnezzar's son. Remember, this is the guy who saw the writing on the wall. Remember that king? Yeah. And he served another king named Darius. And this is the king who put Daniel in the lion's den. Remember that king? <clears throat> and he also served another king, King Cyrus. Now, this was a good king who let the Israelites go back home. That's a lot of arms. Okay, so this is the King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar, he had a nightmare, and he couldn't sleep. Anybody have nightmares and can't sleep that well? That's good. Yeah. Well... If you do, you got to first accept Christ into your heart, succeed in prayer, and nightmares will not come. Then that means something incorrect was imprinted in your thoughts, and you just have to replace it with God's word. Anyways, Nebuchadnezzar had a nightmare, and you know what? This nightmare, God actually gave the nightmare, and he couldn't sleep. So he called his magicians and sorcerers and Enchantresses. So there is the silly magicians. So ugly, right? <laughs> so there is King Nebuchadnezzar in his jammies, and he told the, the magicians, Tell me what my dream is, and tell me what it means. And the magicians are like, What? Bro, we can't do that. That's impossible. There's nobody who could do that. We can't read your mind, O oh king. And the king's like, okay, then, you're dead. You die. And all the magicians in the entire kingdom die. Wow. And then Daniel, somebody knocked on Daniel's door. And Daniel's like, hi, can I help you? Oh, I got to go pick you up because you need to die. <laughs> and Daniel's like, what? Okay. And then he, they, he found out about the situation, and Daniel went to the king and said, give me some time, and then I will tell you what your dream means. And the king's like, okay. So Daniel came to the king. Oh, king, this is what your dream was. And he told him the dream, even though the king kept his mouth shut. Wow, God, God gave him the wisdom, huh? So there is a statue, gold, silver, what is it? Copper, bronze, clay, and all of a sudden, there was a big stone 
what knocked it all over. And, the, and Daniel's like, uh, that statue is you, king, and Babylon. And eventually, it's going to get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker, and it's going to be destroyed, and God's kingdom will remain. So the king's like, wow, okay, you and your friends, big thumbs up, you and your friends, I will promote you. Wait a second. Okay, so Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. Is that Bob? Silly Bob. A few years passed, and then King Nebuchadnezzar, his son, became the king. And his name was King Belshazzar. And King Belshazzar held a huge banquet for a thousand people. And then do you know what he did? He got the golden and silver cups from, that was stolen from the temple, from the church. And then he was drinking wine out of it. Uh-oh. Oh, what is he doing? They're having a good time. No. And then he, yeah, he stole it from the temple. And God was not pleased with that. How dare you use church stuff to drink wine? Oh, no. And then all of a sudden, there was a, a human hand. And it, it, drew, it wrote something on the wall. And nobody knew what it, what it meant. And he was terrified. I mean, imagine that. Seeing a, imagine seeing a giant foot <laughs> just out of nowhere. A giant foot, and it's walking around. <gasps> I'll be terrified. But a giant hand writes something on the wall here? That's terrifying. <laughs> Mino would have gone up to him and tried to high-five it. <laughs> Silly Mino. And then... The king's like, and he was so scared that his, his knees were shaking. Were you so scared where you were shaking and you couldn't even move? I was sometimes, yeah. There was this taekwondo master, and this taekwondo master, there was a burglar in the house. And even though he was a taekwondo master and he could have kicked him in the face, he froze. And the burglar stole everything and left. Mino freezes when he sees his sister's face. She must be very frightening looking. And then all of a sudden... Huh? What? Burglar, a robber. Oh no, be right back. What should I do? And then the queen came out of nowhere, and the queen's like, oh, well, there's this wise man named Danster, and he, he, he served under your father, Nebuchadnezzar. Why don't we bring him? And King, King Belshazzar's like, bring him right now. Bring him. And Daniel's brought. And then, with the writing on the wall, King's like, what does this all mean? 
So Daniel's like, oh, I'll tell you what it means. And by the way, the king's like, here, I'll, I'll give you everything you want. I'll give you a purple clothes and a gold chain. Daniel's like, I don't need it. Many, many tekel perez means God number your kingdom and put, is going to put an end to it. Your kingdom will be divided. And the king's like, wow. And then that night, the king died. <gasps> Why are you laughing at death? And then there's this new king named Darius. Darius? Darius? And then, oh, Daniel was like put in charge and everybody else was a little jelly. Jealous. And then they're like, oh, there's, we can't, we can't, there's nothing wrong with him except he keeps worshiping God. So maybe we'll make that illegal. So they came up with a plan. And these evil stooges went to the king and said, oh, king, for like, was it a month, 30 days? Let nobody worship anybody, any other God except you, king. And the king's like, ooh, I like it, I like it. It's a good idea. Only me. Only me. Selfish king, huh? And then he gave him the signet ring because th this is like their signature. You put it in candle wax and then, ding, royal decree. And then Daniel, he was praying in his room like he always does, facing outside the window. And then the three stooges are like, oh, we got him. He's breaking the law. He's praying to his God. I don't know what he's, no shoes on the bed. And then he was put inside the lion's den. Oh my, so, so furious. That's terrifying. But you know what? That was not a problem for Daniel. Daniel's like, you know what? Okay, I'll die. No problem. And you know what? God actually protected him. God sent angels to shut the mouths of the lion. And then you know what? You know what the king said afterwards? He's like, oh, wow, Daniel's God is a true God. Look at that. Evangelism and missions without him even doing anything. All right. So what does God desire? God desires evangelism and missions, which is sharing the gospel, Christ, shining light to other people. Right? What does God desire? What does God want? Those who are spiritually wise through our summit time, right, spiritual summit, will shine brightly. That's evangelism, right? We shine the light of Christ because Christ is inside of us, us holding on to God's word and us remembering who we are and God being with us. That's shining the light. She will shine brightly like the brightness of the sky and of heaven and those who lead many to righteousness. When we lead other people to Jesus Christ, oh, well, okay, before we do that, how do we shine the light of Christ? Through our attitude, right? Like Daniel had summit attitude. Daniel's three friends had summit attitude. If I die, I die. Esther also had summit attitude. How do we shine the light of Christ? Through our summit attitude. And we need to lead many people to righteousness. We have to lead many people to the way, the truth, and the life, which is Christ, right? We, need to, we have to lead people to Christ, not lead people away from Christ, right? We have to lead people to Christ, lead people to church, lead people to God's word, lead people to heaven, because that's what lasts forever and ever. Our citizenship is in heaven. This is our home. And Jesus is going to prepare homes for us. Just like in RCA, they, pre they prepared rooms for us in the hotel. And there's this one woman who keeps stealing the hotel keys. <laughs> Just like that, Jesus in heaven preparing rooms for us. Wow, I can't wait until I get there. I wonder what kind of hotel will be in heaven. Okay, now there's something we need to put into action. Now, after we hold on to God's desire, there's something that I need to put into action. Each one of us. I mean, Lydia, Shireen, Hapung, Daniel, Michael, Emma, 
Emma squared. Paul? Chloe? Who is this superhero? Hobbs, who keeps changing her hair color? Claire? Eddie, Rockstar? Handsome Banshigi. Yeah, there's something that each one of us, I, there's something that I need to put into action. You guys know what you need to put into action. Some people just avoid doing summit time. There was this one remnant who avoided doing summit time like for three hours yesterday. We need to put, we have to find what I need to put into action. Pray five times a day. Hey, that's something that you need to put into action. I need to put into action. What else do we, oh, now the people that we meet, how are we going to do evangelism and missions? Have you ever thought, okay, I meet a lot of people during the day or during the week. How can I share the gospel to them? You could, you could buy evangelism material. You could remind them of the Sunday message. You could remind each other about who you are, who God is, right? There's different ways. Think about the people you meet. And then our family. Some of our family members might be children of God. Some might not. Some of our family members might come to church. Some of our family members might not want, to, want us to come to church. We have to put into action what are ways we could share the gospel to those family members. And then there's school. How can I share the gospel to my classmates and, and the teachers? Now check it out. It's, it's, it's hard for teachers to share the gospel to the students, but if students share the gospel to each other, there's nothing the school could do about it. Stop doing that. Okay, psych. Hey, be, yeah, be brave remnants like that. You're gonna get suspended if you keep talking about Jesus. Oh, thanks. Great, I get, I get a break. But that's not gonna stop me. You need to be summit remnants like that. Hey, where are these books? Why are you, sharing, why are you giving these books out to your classmates? That's none your business. <laughs> summit attitude. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you're going to get suspended. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm not breaking the law because I have freedom of religion. And the principal's going to be like, mm. yeah, be some remnants like that. Um, rem or student, why, what is this? That's my Bible. Uh, can you put the Bible away? No. Freedom of religion. <gasps> The teacher is like, hey, who cares? Summit attitude. Be brave remnants like that. Seriously. That's fine. How, how much more happy do you think God will be? How much more do you think God's going to bless you in the future just, just because you did that? Why are you talking about Jesus in school? Um, because should I listen to you or should I listen to God? Oh, breaking news, CNN news. A student from Fairview Elementary School. Oh, and then everybody around the entire world is like, yeah. And then you go to the, the capital and you go to court and it becomes a huge deal and then Holy Nation Presbyterian Church goes on the TV and the entire world finds out, hey, go for it. Yeah, save your school, stake your life. Because, well, we'll do what God wants. Also, put into action, what do we need to do in church? Some, a little thing that we could put into action is like no running in the hallway, that's so little but it shows summit attitude or 
quietly preparing for worship, some people still can't do that before worship. But if you're doing that, that's something that's, that's a small thing you could put into action. And also in our neighborhood, like our playground, our playground is like an evangelism field. Because kids and families from all around this neighborhood come to this playground. Isn't that a perfect chance to, uh, for us to share the gospel? Wow. Yeah. Even though there's bullies. Sometimes there's bullies in the playground. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, culture. culture. Wait. On Friday, we did something. Oh, yeah. This training. Wait a second. I recognize some people here. Ah, always distracted, Michael. Oh, my God. Claire, so close to the camera. (laughs) Chloe. It's so dark in the room. Oh, in his pajamas. Wait a second. Banchiki? <laughs> Addy? <laughs> oh. oh, it's your sister? <laughs> oh, Emma Jung, fixing her glasses. Blue light glasses. Keja in, in, Flo- in uh, Hawaii. <laughs> Sharing, picking her nails. What? what who's, whose dog is this? What are you doing, Sajini? Silly Sajini. Where's Bobe? Okay. Oh, Banchik, I don't know what you're laughing at. Lady, oh, Michael looking out the window. Sharing, picking her ears. Who cares about Bobe? It's Bobe, Bobe. Addy, Keisha. Oh. What Emma's doing? Oh, nice background, Emma. Banshigi, clear. Oh, so close to the camera. Michael looking at other people like Bobe, making fun of Bobe, Bobe. Tajini, I don't know what you're doing up there. Sharing, acting all pretty. Chloe, hey, you got some light on. What else is there? Oh, Charles. Oh, Chloe, so close. Sherry. What? Oh, what? Oh, no. What is she doing? That's not her name. Oh, Paul, new location. Oh, inter- lots of interesting. I don't know. What's, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Look, even Grace Joe is laughing at you. Lydia. Oh, wait, wait, what is this? Hi, yeah. Uh, oh, team. Oh, Bobe. Oh, Banshigi. Oh, Paul, another new location. You keep moving around, huh? Emma dancing. Oh, Chloe. Oh. All right. We'll have a blessed form time. May the Lord bless y'all, keep y'all. May the Lord make his face shine upon y'all. Psh. And be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. I'll give you all peace. Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing. Homework this week. One remnant, one remnant really, really wanted to make comics. So, sure, all right. So it's, but I'll give you an option. The option is you could do Pixin or you could use any online program. It could be, what is that? Gotcha Club. It could be anything. Or you could make your own book. Like, you could fold paper, make a book, and then just drawings, a story. Just choose Elisha or Daniel. Go for it. Uh, let's pray for Christmas Island. Okay. I, re- I researched Christmas Island. It's, Christmas is like Christian, right? But this Christmas Island is Islam and Buddhism. What? And it's called Christmas Island. And Malaysia, Islam, which is like Muslim. They believe in Prophet Muhammad and Allah. Anyways, let's pray for Christmas Island in Malaysia. Because when we pray, uh, prayer transcends time and space. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Christmas Island in Malaysia so the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel over there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.